hello everyone so today we are going to implement this whistle action so when i make a whistle sound the enemies will look at my direction we can use this to lure enemies to uh, kill them without seeing by other enemies so let here is the demonstration see once i press the whistle he look at me and he saw me so now let me restart go to a cover mm, let me whip the silence pistol if i kill this enemy here others will see that see that see that so to prevent that let me make a whistle here now the enemy will come to check that and when that happens, we can kill it. See? Now none of the other enemies see the dead body because it's covered. So, yeah. That's what we are going to work on today. okay so i have imported this to uh, this sound effect whistle sound so i'm going to use this uh, when i press uh, maybe v when i press v because i can't use top two it is already designed for movement so when i press v the player character will make a whistle sound so that would be that should be heard by enemies and they should check for it so that's will be useful for me uh, when i'm like trying to lure some enemies into a location and take them down silently without seen by other enemies so that's the basic idea here so right first let's implement uh, an input But I think we have already assigned V here, this camera action. So I'll press Control, sorry, Shift V. I'll make it Shift V. This is coming from the ALS system by default. So if you want, you can just completely remove it. Whistle. okay now let's open the base character and here we can implement whistle so this action so uh, yeah here we have the footstep event which makes a noise for footstep sounds so we can actually use the same thing here <clears throat> mm. first let's play sound at location and the location should be get back the location and the sound is whistle cue and then we can make a noise using the same function make noise uh, loudness I think it can be one one is okay because whistle always has a constant volume called constant range so one is fine and max range so how long this whistle whistle should be heard from initially let's try 1500 wait how long that would be
thousand means this okay thousand five hundred means something like this okay that uh, range can work and tag so here we are using tag zero for um, actually this tag represents um, zero represents minor disturbances so here also I'll use zero and noise as the noise instigator I'll give a reference to self right now let's try if I press V oh camera action is still working whistle didn't work can shall we change this to C uh, but crotch is assigned to see okay then let's just uh, delete this oh wait no we might still need this so I'll use numpad file just leave it just to leave it there without deleting now press v wait why is it still point to v Ah, oh. in player controller we have this V. Even maybe this is the reason. Let me remove that and check. Yeah, now it works. What the the enemy didn't look at me. Why? All right, here it is. Yeah. Okay, I guess I pressed the whistle earlier before the AI character controller is initialized. See. Okay. All right. Now what happens if I press the whistle? in a location where it, it can't see me he turned to this location but it's still yeah coming to check okay so now let's see what happens if there are two enemies It would be ideal if only one of them is coming to search. But both of them are coming. Oh, three of them are coming, which is not ideal. So how can we make only one of them uh, come to search? So actually to do that, we may need to use the NPC manager that we work uh, have already implemented so we use this npc manager when we implement uh, shooting as a team so before ai characters start shooting we use this can i shoot function so that we can control the number of enemies who shoots at the single target at one target simultaneously so things like that 
so i think we can use this for this situation too but first let's take a look at the behavior uh, at the ai controller so when they hear a whistle sound when the ai characters hear a whistle sound this is what happens under hearing if it is an enemy sound report the threat level so basically report the location with the threat level so for the whistle i set tag as zero that is taken as the threat level so zero category threat whistle is registered as a zero category threat so when we do that in the AI behavior tree here we have this yeah see major threat minor threat this branch will be executed when we set those uh, blackboard values with noise location and with uh, zero as threat value so here basically what happens is the AI characters look at the noise location and then wait like four seconds and then move to that location and yeah that's basically what happens here so we need a way to control this behavior this behavior tree uh, in a way that only one character is going to do the search but I think we should do that in another episode so for now i'm gonna stop this episode right here because i can so that i can limit this to uh only for whistle and boat action right so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye